<clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, up a little bit early. Feeling way better. Um, in that, <clears throat> uh, what will we call it? Um, productive phase of a flu or an infection. Uh, if I cough or blow my nose, um, it's having a noticeable effect of lessening the amount of crap in my head. Uh, the downside is it's not a lot of fun getting that stuff up or out. Oof. So yesterday, <coughs> I talked about uh, staying positive while you're sick, <coughs> or while bad things are happening, oh. and uh, or at least trying to maintain a neutral attitude. Um, and I'm trying to find somewhere to put my phone down. Fortunately, it's magnetic, and I can stick it on the back of the camera. Come on, get up there. There we go. So, yeah, it's a, a very dim morning here. The sun is up, uh, but it's simply... Oh, now, a good hot coffee on a sore throat is an absolute bit of heaven. And, uh, while I'm not sponsored by them, it's been a while since I did one of these not sponsored things, so, uh, I'll do that now, too. Uh, let me see, can I get a better angle? I just like to have my head centered. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Ooh. Yeah, I look a lot less like crap than I have the last few days. Uh, if it wasn't raining out, I'd probably go for a ride on the bike. Force out the rest of the crap in my, uh, in my head, as it is, I think I'll probably just uh, put my head down in the recovery or the crash position for a while. Um, odd thing about human anatomy, and I'll do the not sponsored thing after. Um, but an odd thing about human anatomy is that our sinuses drain from the top um, because we used to be quadrupedal creatures, and evolution hasn't caught up yet. And, uh, yeah, intelligent design, my ass. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Hull's uh, honey lozenges, the ones that say soothe, those things are good. That's one of those poked in here right now. It's over here now. <laughs> but uh, those things are really good. Um, and they're not particularly sugary. There's probably a fair bit of sugar in them, but uh, they don't taste particularly sugary. Ooh, you know it's bad when you're coughing hard enough to knock that stuff out. <sighs> anyway, yeah. Um, I guess... Uh, what to do with your positive attitude would probably be a handy thing. Find something to do. And you can either spread your positive attitude around or, um, you know, you can keep it to yourself. But when it comes to uh, doing that, uh, I tend to have the same attitude as, that's going to fall over, let's put you back where you belong, uh, that, I think it's in Proverbs, it might be in Psalms, uh, it may be in somewhere else in the gospel altogether, but the bit about hiding your light under a bushel, uh, don't do that, don't hide your light, if your confidence, if your positive attitude, or your, um, Happiness makes people uncomfortable. That's on them. You are not required to make other people comfortable in your presence. Now, by the same token, it's not 
a good idea to make other people uncomfortable in your presence, intentionally. Um, but the best thing you can be is an example for someone else. And that's one of the things that's been lost with uh, the suppression of fatherhood. <coughs> and, uh, sorry, excuse me. Um, and no, I didn't cover my mouth when I coughed. I'm coughing at the floor, and I'm here alone. In a closed room. I'm not particularly worried about it. Normally I'd be mad, but I'm not producing anything with those coughs. That's a dry cough. And damn, does that hurt. But... Still getting out of breath because I can't breathe through my nose. Um, but um, how to put it? Lowering your standards for yourself in order to fit with a group of friends. Oh dear, I had to sneeze. But, uh, sorry about that. Um, making yourself smaller so that your presence doesn't push against other people is not a good idea. Instead, you should find people whose presence pushes against you. And, uh, Find where you're comfortable with people. Uh, do things that build your confidence. Things that you're good at. Uh, that you're competent at. And that you enjoy doing. Uh, for me, that's woodworking. And doing this, actually. I didn't think when I started doing these videos that I would have as much enjoyment and uh, uh, competence at making them. Uh, even though I do occasionally get very unfocused, this one is a great example, but I will use the excuse of you know, 50 pounds of phlegm and a 15 pound cranium <coughs> to, uh, to excuse that today. Just today. Next time it's just because I'm a bit, uh, what's the expression in Alberta? Spinning. A little bit spinning. <laughs> um, but, you know, find things that you enjoy doing, that you're good at doing, that build you up. And if you find that people are trying to tear you down over what you're good at, or simply because they're not good, which may not even be a conscious motivation for them, a lot of people will attempt to derail someone else's progress. Uh, addiction is a great example of that. Uh, when I stopped using, I had to change my circle of friends. There was simply no other way to go because most of my friends at that point were other users. And that would have just backslid me. I would have relapsed in no time. Um. But yeah, definitely uh, find things you enjoy doing. <laughs> Another thing that I do is proofreading. I do freelance proofreading. I'm doing proofreading for my buddy Cass's stories that I read on my channel. Uh, which, there's another thing that I absolutely love doing, that I think I do pretty well, is reading, uh, doing audio work, voiceover work, whatever it's really properly technically termed. Um, obviously I will be... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, won't be doing any of that anytime soon. <laughs> uh, though I do still recall that I owe you guys a couple of videos. Uh, as of right now, the plan is to do my live stream on Saturday. Uh, but I think I will probably push it back a few hours and start doing them in the evening. Uh, the evening my time. Uh, which would be... Let me see, 7 o'clock here would be 5.30 Eastern Time, so I'll probably push it a little further, maybe 7.30 here. 
and uh, 7.30 here then is 11 o'clock <clears throat> in the UK, but I don't think I have a lot of UK followers, so uh, if I do, make yourselves known. Um, in fact, anyone who is watching this, please make yourselves known. Let me know where you guys are from. Uh, even shoot me a time zone. Then I can tailor my timing for you. Uh, which is another thing that I think uh, has gone too far by the wayside. Customer service. <laughs> when I lived in BC for a while, uh, there was a campaign uh, to create great customer service. And it seemed to have worked. Uh, but good customer service is just good business. Uh, doing woodworking for clients, and I rarely have clients to do work for, uh, but uh, doing good work for your clients uh, means that word of mouth gets spread, and word of mouth is one of the most powerful advertising forces. Commercials, uh, radio ads, even, well, with the possible exception of YouTube. YouTube seems to be a place where the power of uh, word of mouth uh, is actually exercised very well. Um, for example, everyone knows Raid Shadow Legends, Manscaped, uh, Ridge Wallet. That's really starting to come down out there. Uh, Manscaped, Ridge Wallet, uh, Raid Shadow Legends. I'm trying to think of another one. I know there was another big one for a while. There was that online therapy thing for a while, but that seemed to be a bit scammy. And I think a lot of people ended up in deep shite over that. And to be honest, I wouldn't think a corporate... Uh, therapy system would ever work. <laughs> therapy is one of those things where you really need a one-on-one -on -one connection. Um, which is why I don't call what I do therapy. I offer advice or I take AMAs. Uh, and that's always true. doesn't matter what video it is. If you have a question to ask me, ask me. I'll either address it in the next video or I'll save it for the live stream. Uh, generally, I do save them for the live stream. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. If you're feeling either bit generous or think you got anything useful out of this, out of this one especially, I can't see how you did. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully, you know, you guys are having a good day. Don't feel particularly concerned for me. All of this goo that's in my head now is moving forward and it all just wants to get out and I don't have a problem encouraging that so that's what I'm going to go do anyway I hope you're all well <sighs> take it easy love you all talk to you later bye bye